Greetings fellow Shadow Riders, Crapture here and this is Raid Shadow Legends, free to play episode 86. Okay, so clan boss changes um, are currently applied uh, by the game developers. So it means that the Wixwell Infinity um, team composition is affected by that. So I was using this uh, team for a long time. Okay, and it was time to finally change it, apply to the uh, current uh, situation and see if, it's, if this will work. Okay, so let's take a look uh, what I did. So, what I can say, um, I changed a little bit uh, my team and looks like it's working. So, this is the results from my uh, previous um, day. Right, so we got Ultra Nightmare, so one key uh, over almost 100 million uh, damage, so that's the team, so we'll take a look to the team in a second, so if the team performs uh, so well here, so it will be much better on the other um, difficulties, so on Nightmare it's 171 million, on Brutal even more, uh, over two, uh, 200 millions and hard, yeah, for sure, over 200 millions. Okay, so let's take a look before the uh, clan boss reset. Uh, what is the setup? Uh, so that's my setup. So we got Wixwell as a lead for the uh, defensive aura. We got Brogni uh, for the block uh, buffs and also uh, buff strip, uh, which is also important here. Um, uh, Hellborn sprite to extend the buffs and also the meta to extend the buffs. And we got uh, sneaky Sway <laughs> here with six star blessing. Because I, I'm using her because I can, uh, but generally you can place anyone here which will do similar role. Uh, so let's take a look what is the setup here. So this is new team number four forgot to change the name but uh, that's how it looks so in terms of speed this is I would say very slow uh, team this is like one to one ratio uh, except I think Wixwell Wixwell is uh, three to four or four to three <laughs> he's moving four times when I clan boss uh, three times uh, because the, his speed is uh, 225 so Brogni 200, uh, Hellborn Sprite 201, uh, Demeta uh, 198 uh, and Sue 211. So not crazy speeds, um, which is it's fine uh, and generally it's working. So we don't have to do like two to one uh, speed tune for that. So very simple team. In terms of uh, skill uh, setup, so we are starting with uh, uh, Wixwell shield and increase defense and uh, we'll forget about this skill, so we'll try to extend it. I'm not using any reflex or stuff like that, so this is normal uh, Wixwell build, uh, so every free turn he will extend the buffs. Uh, Brogni, uh, the same, I think, perception build. Uh, so we are starting with the block uh, debuffs. And we are forgetting about this skill because we'll be extending that forever. Um, and we are uh, putting uh, as a priority to uh, remove buffs from the all enemies. So this is, I would say, important because we want to remove the increased attack from the clan boss. Uh, Hellborn Sprite. Uh, so Hellborn is built in uh, shield set. So I uh, try to get her a little bit more HP, some good defense, over 3000. Um, some accuracy to land maybe this uh, weekend because she's able to place weekend in the A1, but it's not uh, crucial. Uh, so we can avoid that. Um, and uh, yeah, she is in the shield, so we want to have uh, this shield also. Uh, I mean, shield set uh, to, to shields in, uh, both buff in the team. Why? Because uh, shield from um, Wixwell, it's one thing, and shield from 
uh, Hellborn is another thing, and each one will have a, a cup uh, in terms of size, so each one will have a 1 million uh, points, so, so that will be maximum of the shield. So 1 million from Wixwell, 1 million from uh, Hellborn Sprite. Okay, uh, we got Dimita here, so I'm using Dimita because she's able to extend uh, the buffs, which is great, and also because of the block damage, uh, which we'll be using at the beginning. So when I am starting with this skill, she, she is the slowest in the team, so in the first run she will block first uh, AoEs uh, from the clan boss which will help to uh, prevent uh, reducing the shields from clan boss hits and so, so will be, uh, it will be much easier to grow those shields because they will not be reduced by the damage from the uh, demon lord that's the idea and it's working and we got sway um, with damage build uh, some attack here also hp and defense uh, some speed, accuracy. She is, I would say, uh, built a little bit better than the rest of the team, uh, but uh, this is also because of the blessing. So, blessing is uh, giving you a lot of um, stats. Also, crushing rent here will ignore some target uh, defense, so which is it means it will uh, do a little bit more damage. Uh, yeah, I think we should take a look to her um, to her build because that's not all. So what else is important is uh, where is she here? She's in the lethal and cruel, so she will also ignore defense 25 and 5 here. So it will be 30 uh, plus uh, crushing rent. So this will be another one percent of defense ignored uh, per 10 levels of an enemy enemies i think the clan boss is 250 so it will be an additional 25 which means more uh, more more uh, defense uh, ignored it means more uh, damage here on the masteries i could use uh, helen smasher but it looks like it's it's working fine so this will be additional 25 percent of the uh, defense defense ignore so she will be uh, like hitting almost uh, pure damage uh, into the clan boss okay one more thing before we go to the fight so let me explain one thing which is I think nobody is mentioning about that. So I'm using on Wixwell and Brogni uh, the Brimstone Blessing. And uh, why on both two guys I'm using that? Because uh, Brimstone uh, will have its own cooldown. So this is 4 turn cooldown. Uh, so even on 5 star blessing for Brimstone. And here we got 3 star blessing on Brogni. This is all for, for turn cooldown. So, if you want to have a consistent smite uh, debuff on the enemy, uh, so generally we need to run two champions with Brimstone, right? So if one will land it, so second will cannot do that. So it will wait until the Brimstone will uh, go off uh, on the enemy, and then it will uh, apply it. Uh, and then you know, uh, Wixwell Brimstone will be on cooldown while Brogneys will be applying the Brimstone uh, blessing. Yeah, so this is worth to, to <coughs> mention why I'm running uh, two Brimstones here. Okay, um, before we go jump to the fight, so at the end of this video, I would like to pull two more, uh, two. Uh, times on in this supporter summon pool because I've got some uh, prism shards here so yeah so that will be in the end okay so let's jump uh, to the clan boss so let's see what we got today uh, so ultra nightmare let's claim the rewards let's see what we got today got some boots for sale one shard one void shard this can be useful and for, from Nightmare, we got 
epic book with uh, one weapon to sell and nothing here. Yeah, so it happens. Okay, so let's jump to the uh, Ultra Nightmare. I'll run this on the without quick battle to see what's going on and explain uh, how we are dealing with the boss here. So let me sl uh, turn off auto, slow down. So Xwell is starting with A3, so we got shields, we got uh, uh, got two shields, right? So one, for example, on Dimita, one is on the left, right side, one is on the left. So we got two shields and we want to have both shields on our champions to ensure that we will have those two million uh, shield <coughs> on, on all of us here. Okay, so block buffs, increase attack, block damage. Yeah, and block damage, so we didn't get any damage here. So on the first uh, A1 from the clan boss, and that's how we want to do that. Um, so that's the meta role here. Um, okay, so now um, let me maybe explain what Swain is doing, uh, if you're not familiar. So her A2 is applying decrease attack which is important here so she's void affinity which means in all uh, clan boss affinities she will not uh, weak hit so we'll have this decrease attack very consistent uh, on the big aoe's so yeah the shield will have uh, time to grow easier um, she's also placing uh, weaken so that's why I mentioned that Hellbone Sprint Weaken is not so important, but depends on which champion you can use in this spot. Generally, this is damage dealer debuffer uh, spot that you can use here. And her A1 is placing decrease defense, which we see here. So only she's placing decrease defense. So it's it's from her. And that's how it goes. Okay, so we got a lot of, uh, and yeah, yeah, that's another um, important thing why we have Dimita here. So she's placing a lot of continuous heals. So that's the buffs that will be also extending. And uh, how Wixwell uh, shield grow mechanic uh, works. So uh, he's uh, extending the shields based on the number of the buffs that we have currently on the champions. And we would like to have all of the buffs, right? Uh, all 10 slots filled with the buffs. So that's the idea. So if we take a look here, so we have plenty of buffs. So five, nine, nine is fine. <laughs> uh, nine here on the Brogni. Uh, we got five, nine here on the, uh, Hellbone Sprite. We got also nine on the Meta and nine on the uh, sway because we got block damage now so almost all of our, uh, all team members uh, not getting damage Wix will is a little bit too fast but uh, that's fine he's tanky enough so as you see shield is growing uh, pretty nicely so the hp bars are very small now so it means the shield is big um yeah in terms of brimstone right so let's see so one brimstone just uh, took off so we got another one uh from brogni this time so uh brimstone Br uh, smite i mean smite debuff from brogni is uh, not protected because he's three star uh smite from uh wixwell is protected because he's five star uh so so we'll, we'll see that in a second so only hp burn from uh brogni so let's see now we got we don't have another you know uh smite so now we should yeah we got a uh, um, smite from wixwell so each smite uh, proc uh, will deal 250,000 damage yeah this one that was the number 250 uh, damage uh, to the clan boss yeah, so it means now we got a Brimstone, uh, I mean Smite debuff from a Brogni. So, so that that this uh, while um, Wixwell is on the cooldown, so Brogni will apply his 
So that's the idea. So we'll have more brimstone procs. It means we'll do more damage every, every um, activation of A1 and A2 uh, of the Demon Lord. Okay, more or less that's it. So let it run and we'll back to the the stage when we'll start dropping our champions because clan boss will be hitting uh, much harder. Okay, so we got uh, turn count uh, 74. Uh, we got over 55 million of damage already. Uh, the run looks still uh, nice, so no danger. So shields are still big. Uh, Block damage from Demeter is not doing anything because uh, after st um, boss turn count uh, 50 uh, he will ignore any block damage and unkillable. So this is not uh, helping now but the shields are already so big so we are safe. Um, what I would like to mention here is uh, about the Brogni, why, why he's so important. Uh, because he's a passive uh is generally great so as you see the, all those numbers when clan was attacked so this is from the brogni passive he's putting so much damage that you can which is hidden generally you will not uh, see it that someone is hitting for big, big numbers but every time when the clan boss hits you for example let's let's do this now and, uh, okay so some damage on a1 only single target but now we'll have another AoE, even with block damage. And see now, th those red numbers. Th that's uh, over, I think, uh, 100,000 uh, damage uh, as a retaliation uh, or reflect damage uh, from Brogni passive. Yeah, so this is also adds up uh, to the total uh, number. And as we see here, so uh, turn count 85 almost, we got 63 million. Uh, it means we got, we're got dealing more than half uh, of a million per uh, turn, which is great. And uh, to reach uh, highest uh, chest here, we need to like 72 millions. So it should be uh, very easy, do doable with such a team. Okay, so let's pause again and see you later. Okay, turn count 113. We see slowly that uh, Brogni uh, HP bar is st starting to show right now. Yeah, even. So we see that Brogni shield is almost down. It means that uh, clan boss hitting, is hitting harder and harder and Brogni is down. Okay, so we got 90 millions of damage, so which is great. So now the rest of team will slowly will be falling off uh, from the squad here. But anyway, this is uh, I think a good setup. It's working fine. Uh, we'll see at the end screen how the, this uh, who who put the most damage. So we know that. Uh, Brogni uh, was down first, but if he will put more damage than anybody else, I will not be surprised. And this is only because of his passive, <laughs> which is crazy. Okay, um, not sure how, what is the maximum damage of uh, potential of this team. We will see. Um, yeah, so let's pause here and we'll check later if another shields will stop uh, start dropping off okay so sway is down uh, so clan boss killed her with his uh, a1 with the stun <laughs> uh, yeah we are getting close to 100 uh, million score looks now hellborn sprite will uh, no it will be the target no it is the meta that's fine. So generally all the extenders are still alive, which means we will be still putting some damage uh, from uh, Wixwell Brimstone. Yeah, let's we'll see. So how, ma how much many turns will survive. So Hellbone Sprite 
HP bar is start to do showing. Yeah, yeah. So help on sprint will uh, be will be out probably next hit. Yep, that's correct. So now we see in the meta HP bar. Yeah, it starts showing. So it means the shield is going down. So <clears throat> if we reach one. 100 million, so it will be great generally. Let's see. Okay, the meta is down. And now only Wixwell, as a one man army. <laughs> let's see, let's see how many hits he can survive. Okay, no, he, yeah, probably, yeah, no, no buff extension, so we are done. Okay, so let's check uh, the damage distribution. So Wixwell, uh, uh, 28 millions. Brogni, as I mentioned, so he died first, but he put it over 40 million damage, so his passive is crazy. Uh, Hellborn Sprite and Demeta, so almost nothing. And Sway, uh, 22, over 22 million. So she's not the best damage dealer here, she, she's working fine, but she's providing all those uh, required debuffs, uh, like decrease attack, decrease defense to uh, ramp up the damage in, the, in this team. Okay, so we got it. Uh, so we got the key down. So it's recorded. Yes. So we are we are great, uh, good here. Okay, and uh, as I uh, promised, so we will now uh, try to get. Uh, check our luck on the uh, summon pool for the supporters summon pool so we got uh, two chances so we got 115 shar uh, shar prism shards so we need 40 to summon one so let's see what we will get there are a few champions that will be great to get Cornelia is not one of them <laughs> unfortunately uh, let's check what will another bring, another epic, and Lady Annabelle. I also have Lady Annabelle, so let's duplicate, and we do not have more uh, Prism Shards. So yeah, so that will be the end of this episode, so please let me know, uh, what do you think about that? I'm happy with the results after uh, those changes to the shield mechanic, yeah. So see you on the next one. Cheers.